The image of a dry region greets you when you land in Trukana County, a region surrounded by vast bare land where the only crop in sight is the shrubs. Dry rivers in Trukana County, like this one that have been left to harbor sand instead of water, is a clear indication of just how long it hasn't rained in this part of the country. But there is hope. The Katilu irrigation scheme is a sight to behold. Here, many residents have found refuge in a farm that could be mistaken to be in the highlands part of the country. Already we have a lot of farmers now who are in horticultural business and we know in Katilu now we are able to supply the other areas around this region of Katiru, like Irokechal, and sometimes we do supply even Lodwa with vegetables from Katiru irrigation scheme. The water from River Takwell has transformed this region in more ways than one. We have already now brought even other players like the youth who never used there before to do uh, agricultural activities and now today they are doing it very well here in Katiru. In the Mamba ya maji ya mtaro ya maji. Yani wakati kama maji inaitaji kwa chamba, inaenda kufungua, alafu ndio nakuja kuingia kwa, kwa chamba. The National Irrigation Board has initiated a project where farmers are being taught diversification from the usual maize and sorghum farming to horticultural crops like bananas, pawpaws, skumawiki, butternuts, eggplants and tomatoes among others. After rehabilitating the first 700 acres, we have seen a lot of impact of this project. One, we have food security around this area and the area beyond Katiru. Early in the morning at the scheme and the farmers are here harvesting the fruits of their labor. Believe it or not, this is Turkana County. So, tunaweza wafunza kwamba unaweza panda mahindi kwa miezi tatu mwezi wa mwezi za kwanza za mwaka alafu kufikia mwezi wa 4 wa 5 unaweza panda vitu vingine ambavyo zinaweza kusaidia wewe kifedha sasa wakati juzi juzi ya inabii na kuja ndio anasaidia anga sisi panda ya da ya dawa wakati kama iko inasaidia kwa kuwaka mbolea iko mbolea na iko hii nyingine kama sukari iko mbolea mara mbili haya iko dawa sasa wakati mwingine ina Takananga sisi wanyo pia inanunuo kwa sababu siwezi kila wakati ina matawabu hiku wakati na ichanga. There is a, a lot of capacity building that we are doing now today that at least we see that the farmers are able now to negotiate with the buyers a good price whereby they at least they can be able to have enough to maybe to plow back to their fees and uh, continue with the production activities. After weighing and packaging, this produce is taken to the markets in Lokichar and Lodwa, feeding a multitude and bringing in earnings for the farmers. In the, every morning you find there is a lot of youth who have engaged in transport using motorcycles and they do supply through their motorbikes some produce like vegetables eh, to Rokichal and others to Karimorok and other centers near Katiru they are supplied by, by, by motorcycles but eh, in other towns like Lodwa we usually uh, put them in our trucks. Ukulima na mfugo sote ni mali lakini ukulima ya mchanga sasa hii kuna kuna faida mingi na kuna maana saidi kwa sababu hata adui chochote hawezi kuja kuchukua chakula kama hii sasa sasa wakati hiyo chakula nafuna kama wakati mwingine nafuna mingi inaosa kuuza baada ya kuuza inasaidia kwa familia ya kwa familia yako kama napelekea mtoto chule ina wakati mtoto anakonjea anapelekea hospitali sasa ndio hiyo kazi inafanya mali hapa those who are not involved with farming are pastoralists who also make a living through selling their milk at the local markets. A region once used to paint the picture of drought is now used to describe what resilience is all about. The story of a people who have resolved to work very hard not to be part of the drought statistics. Ruth Mutegi at the Katilu Irrigation Scheme in Trukana County.